Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be using Azure to create a text field or text fields that look and behave like the ones that you get in Material Design. Azure does allow you to simply add the standard text field, but if you're trying to add a little bit of style to it, a little bit of pizzazz, make it a bit sexy. Keep watching. Oh, and we're not using any dynamic panels or logic. Maybe a bit of logic. Here we are, so we have two text fields, username and password. As you click into one, the label slides to the top there, just over its border. The border is then highlighted, and as you type in, you get this button there that can delete everything that's in the field. And then as you jump to another field, that field is highlighted then, and the button disappears. And you have the same option here with the password field as well. All right, let's, uh, let's make this in visual. Uh, let's change this quickly to uh, iPhone layout. Um, okay, let's drag in the field. Make it 56 pixels tall. Give it a border radius of four. Um, probably make the border a little bit lighter than it is. That looks nice. Um, and change the text size to 16. You can obviously also change the text color. Um, I'm not gonna do it now. And now let's give it uh, a label or hint text of the username. So this, this is the text that appears in the field. And it we want it to hide, oh, don't want it disabled. We want it to be hidden or to hide once, uh, once you click in the field, so on focus rather than on typing. So what that means is when you click in the field, whatever the hint text is, it disappears, and then you can just type in whatever you want. Um, that's all right, we just need to maybe move the, the hint right a little bit so let's give it some padding there five yeah that looks cool and now we need to tell it that we want a label appearing there at the top once you tap in the in the text field so let's drag in a box put your text field title in there and place it right on top of the on top of the line um, and you just need a slither of, of, of a gap between between the background and the, and the line let's give it the background of white it needs to be exactly the same as your as your background here um, yeah that looks cool maybe give it a little padding just so it's uh, it's not off-center yeah that looks cool uh, and I'm gonna make the text a little bit lighter Okay, let's give it some names, username, label, and this text field can be username field. Um, and now we need to give this text field some style effects. So right click style effects, and we want to say that when it's on focus, we need to change the line color, which is the border to whatever you want, and its thickness to three, which I think looks close to, to material design. And let's hide that. So now we want to say that whenever you select this or when this is on focus, we want that label to appear. So let's select the text field, go into interactions, new interaction, find got focus, and show hide using label, select fade. I think fade looks fine. 500 is way too slow. 150 should be okay. Um, so now in theory, when you tap on this, this text should disappear and the label should appear in a quick fade. So let's try it out. Yeah, that's cool. Um, now we just need to add that little button that would delete the text that you've typed in. Let's go back. Um, I have the button ready here. Let me copy it over. Paste that in Azure. It's for some reason it's in the folder. Move that and delete the folder. Let's call this clear username. Place it there, and you want to. It's a little bit harsh, so I'm going to reduce the opacity to 30. That looks fine. And we want to say that on tap, this field must become empty. So on click or tap, set text of username label 
to nothing. Okay, and you also want to select this. So you want to focus on this text. And I'll show you the difference of, uh, of what this does basically quickly. Um, so actually I'll show you now. So if I just copy this and remove it, let's try this out. So you type this in. <laughs> That's, uh, that removes the wrong one. Let me jump back and fix that. Uh, we want to set username field to nothing. All right, let's, let's do that quickly. Yep, but as you can see now, it changes to the hint text and you can just type in next to it. So what we need to do, and that's the focus thing. So let's say you select click or tap and control V, set focus, oh, that's the wrong one again. Let's do that again. Again, sorry, add action of set focus or focus um, username field and select text in the field or text area. Okay, let's run it. Your, your field, type it in. Cool. So you start typing as you remove it. Your, your cursor is there, you can just edit whatever you just typed in. Cool, so now we just need to hide that button there. And we will say that on, not on focus, we want this to appear when the user starts typing. So we need a new interaction and we say text changed, show hide, clear username, let's fade it in 150 as well. Okay, this should work now. Let's check it out. Yeah, that was good. So it doesn't have anything there. Once you click on it, the label is there. As you start typing, this fades in and works just like we wanted to. Right, now we need the other field. Let's simply copy paste this, drag it down, and now I just need to rename some things. So this will be password label, and let's change the text in it. Ooh password this is also password field um, and let's change the hint text here to password and input type also password so instead of characters you just get those little dots um, and let's change this to clear password so now everything should have updated but let's just double check so uh, on clicked, you set password field to nothing and select uh, the text field. Once this is clicked, you we're showing uh, the password label, and once the text is changed, this um, the clear password button fades in as well. Let's preview it. So your username, your password, perfect. So now the only thing that we need to do is hide this button once you focus on another field. Um, this this looks fine because there are only two fields, but if you imagine if there were you know five or six or seven, and each one that you've selected has the X in there, it's gonna become a bit messy and also quite a lot of, quite a high chance of someone just deleting a text, uh, uh, their, their input to text by accident. So we will say that new interaction on lost focus this time, we will hide, um, clear username, hide, let's fade it. Um, and the same for this, we will say on lost focus, we will hide clear password. While we're here, let's add the button in. Um, And uh, let's just see what the what the color of the border was, so we can match the background of the button or the full color. Sorry. Here we go. Full color. This, and I think yeah, that's fine. And now let's make this disabled. 
again let's go to its style effects and let's say that when it's disabled um, its opacity is reduced down to 30. Now on password we can say that when text is changed you want to enable disable find that and select the login button and you want to enable it. You could also have some um, uh, some cases here saying that it only gets enabled when there are more than say 10 or 5 characters in the, in the text field but for now this this should be fine. Okay, let's see how it works. The, the button disappeared. Wonderful. Great. Um, so one more thing quickly. If, uh, if you're trying to design a slightly different look for the for the text field because there are basically two main main looks for um, material design text fields you have your sort of full border or only border at the bottom so you'd remove the border there um, let's say you probably change the thickness to something something along like this and give it a background here we go but then you would let me just show you I find that in uh, in this style if you're using that design um, you want it to be a little bit taller just so there's enough space for that uh, for the uh, for the label so let's say something like that um, here you go and no, we don't need a border here it's just like that so yeah you would probably do it like that but um, maybe then move the text a little bit to the to the bottom so there's just a bit more space and you know you would show this on clicking that text field um, and in this one I find that um, if you're animating the uh, uh, fade animation here I would use that in this case would use slide up that would looks looks a bit nicer um, so yeah that's what we have I uh, hope it was all uh, clear to follow and helps you out a little bit and uh, thanks for watching